Hey guys, it's Rob here doing some more reaction videos. Um, gonna watch uh, Debussy today, uh, Prelude of the Afternoon of a Fawn. Uh, this, uh, I was just looking on uh, Wikipedia, it looks like this was 1894 was the year. Um, and it was written uh, in response to a poem, I guess. It was sort of a... a oral interpretation of, of off a poem and this uh, this song is just absolutely beautiful Debussy is one of my favorite composers um, like I've you know like you've seen probably on my channel I'm a classical musician myself played violin and viola for a long time so I have a huge affinity for classical music and uh, this is just an absolutely beautiful tune, and uh, like I said, I, I have also have um, Claire de Lune on here, so go check that one out too. I did a reaction to that, but uh, this, um, when people ask me, or they, I've heard people say, oh, this random song is the most beautiful song ever, be some pop song or something, I'm like, you haven't heard Debussy if you're talking about the most beautiful song ever, you know, because this stuff is just nuts, and this came in uh, what is now kind of called the like basically the impressionistic era um beethoven died in eight nine, 1820 something and that basically started the what's called the romantic era and so this is sort of the end tail end of the romantic era about 1900 ish and then eight uh, 19 i think it was 1918 or some time there was sort of uh Stravinsky's Rite of Spring and that kind of uh, spawned a sort of new age of contemporary music but this was sort of the tail end of romantic the romantic era but um, uh, Debussy is a fantastic composer so let's uh, listen to a little bit of this No tux. Maybe that is a tux. opened up into a dream there or something. sound, see the mute they got on, kind of darkens the string sound. I love the clarinet. I think the clarinet's got this really warm, rich tint. You could tell how bright the oboe was there. It's got a really clean clean sound with the oboe or the clarinets just all warm and uh like liquid or something it's uh i don't even know how to describe it but uh you could hear the dynamics there this is you know obviously a very good orchestra and they they really like are doing the swelling in and out and in and out um yeah it's just ugh. very 
butterfly -y right there. something. Trumpets right there. Like I was discussing in the Claire de Lune video, um, I've played both of these in orchestras before and they're very difficult songs to play because most songs have like a, a tempo and, and then once in a while you'll slow down to another and then you set another tempo. This one is just swell in and out. There's just rubatos and retards everywhere. So you've kind of got to really flow with the orchestra instead of kind of find the pocket and the groove. So there's a lot, I mean, this is a very, very difficult song to play because of the timing problems. because you can't really count it, you know, you have to flow with it. back and listen to that chord for a second. Another thing I was going to point out is that in a song like this where you have a lot of stuff that's up high, a lot of like flutes and clarinets and oboes and strings, when you finally do give the cellos and bass that bottom, it really, you can really tell. And when it's not there, you can tell that it's not there. And so that that's a really cool moment when they finally, you know, drop a, the start of a new section and you hear that you hear that big bottom it, it really reverberates and the other thing I'll say is listen to this chord coming up this chord is a very tension building chord it's I don't even know what chord this is but it's an awesome sounding chord
hits. Blim, blim, blim. Just throws all sorts of little stuff like that in. Hear that bottom note there? <laughs> What's up with that technique with the head cupped hand? describe and let swir swirling in the clouds or you can obviously sometimes hear a meadow in there for the afternoon farm. Holy moly, that song is beautiful. Again, you can hear how they're, some of the chords that they're using are just many, many notes at the same time. You know, they're, they're doing a lot of what uh, those couple of chords that I mentioned in the middle, what they're doing there that makes that sound so tension building for those of you that aren't musicians is a lot of times like you'll have like an E and an F are really close. Well, in rock music, you a lot of times won't play an E and an F together because they want it to sound kind of nice and normal and happy sounding. But when you put a lot of notes like an E and an F right together with a bunch of other regular notes, it, it just builds this, it has this nice tension building chord. And if you do it right, uh, it's really hard to describe these chords like, like emotionally describe because uh, it's just like anything. It's like... Um, when you, it's, it's sort of like when you have the first day of school, you have a lot of emotions going through you, right? You have excitement, but you're also a little bit scared, but, um, and a little bit anxious and you have, you have a lot of different emotions going through and, and that's, what's so amazing about, about classical music and especially composers like Debussy is it's really hard. You cannot describe his music in words. It's like not even possible because it, it, it's it's so complex that they have like 19 emotions all in the same the same song. Even in the same moment, you could have 19 emotions. And uh, and also, you know, when you describe Debussy, I've heard a lot of people talk about his music being sort of like in a dream world or clouds or whatever. But uh, you you get a lot of different descriptions of what their what his music reminds people of. And so, just absolutely beautiful stuff. And this is a fantastic orchestra, you can tell. It's a very, very pro orchestra, and they, they just killed that song. So, um, 
anyway, that's a little bit of a prelude of the afternoon of a fawn. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that, and it's just an absolute beautiful tune. So, uh, I will see you guys later. Have an awesome night.